Hello everyone, Fixer here, and today I have a game for you called Tales from the Off-Peak City Volume 1. This was uh, developed and published by Cosmo D. Currently, you can only get it in the Humble Bundle. I think it's like a free extra game if you were to buy the monthly bundle. So if this looks like your jam, I'll put a link down below. So it's kind of hard to describe this game. It's the first of uh, some sort of anthology, and it's like a first-person adventure game. It's very bizarre, it's very surreal, and it's part of a an overall universe that this developer has made. There, there was a game made in, I think, like 2016 called Off Peak, and it's free to play. I'll put a link below if you want to go check that one out, too. And there was another one that was made around 2017 called The Norwood Suite, which I heard a lot of good things about, and that's something I, I think I do want to cover on the channel at some point. And I believe they're all part of the same universe. So if you're looking for a surreal adventure game, you've come to the right place. Let's get started. That guy's getting down. His, his neck looks a little unnatural, actually. Oh, well, you woke up just in time. Click to advance. But before we go any further, I need to know one thing. What's your name, anyways? Oh, well, hello. I am Fixer. Uh, yeah. You won't find this place on any maps, Fixer. But in time, you'll come to know the corner of July Avenue and Yam Street like few others do. Okay. Very pretty. Are we moving at all? I have many assignments for you, Fixer. Do I have feet? I don't have feet. Okay. We're, this is a very strange place. And for this first one, I require you to steal a valuable musical instrument. It's an old saxophone, the prized position of Catano Grosso, former musician and current owner of the pizza restaurant on the corner up ahead. I'm stealing a, a, a saxophone from a pizza restaurant owner? Kitano needs an assistant, so I thought, hey, here's the perfect opportunity to prove your worth to us, Fixer. That their letter of recommendation will make Kitano think you're overqualified to work at his restaurant. I got a letter of recommendation. Kitano was an incredible sax player in his day. World class. He even played with the great Peter Norwood for a while. But nowadays, Katano just holds up in his pizza shop making his pies all day. There are rumors, Fixer. Something's not right about Katano. Something's not right about him. Thanks for chiming in, guy. You say something, Pops? I like how there's just, just a random printer here. Anyway, here's a picture of the sax. For reference, do whatever it takes to get it. At the very least, working for Katana will give you an inside angle on his operation. And once you retrieve the sax, we'll find you. We need the money and that sax is worth a small fortune, fortune in this market. Besides, Pop's medical bills aren't going to pay themselves, eh? I have $17. And here's some cash you probably want to buy a few things while you're here. And one last thing. Good luck. We believe in you. Okay. It's a very weird interaction there. Okay. What the? There's just two dollars on the ground. I'll take it. So, you can eavesdrop on conversations or interrupt them. All right, so that's not a door I can go through. How do I eavesdrop? It's a big mo. Should I... Wait, what? This car's been here for years. No one wants it. And the owner? Wheeled off last week. That's the third extraction this month, big mo. This neighborhood's really bad. Oh my god, it's going too fast. Hold on. 
Uh, eavesdrop dialogue speed. Yeah, let's tone that down a little bit. What about building nine? Aren't they over capacity? Building nine's problems are not mine, mercifully. I still got nosy tenants. The boss breathing down my neck. All right. Gotta keep it slow for the video. But whatever you need, we're here to serve, Big Mo. Here to serve. Hello! Do I know you? Who's this? Oh my god, they look so weird. Should I give the stranger here a proper newcomer's welcome? Brain sonatas? Perhaps a trip to the factory for a little meet and greet? Save it, we got other priorities to deal with at the moment. I know why you're here. I saw the help wanted sign in Katana's window. But even if Katana does take you in, that doesn't mean you get to stick your face in places it doesn't belong. He's onto us already. Come on, let me welcome the stranger, Big Mo. Not so fast, boys. I've worked hard to keep this neighborhood under the radar. Don't cause a stir and uh, we'll all get along just fine. Big Moo is watching. You're in my part of town now. Oh boy. Oh my god, these guys look so creepy. Um, yeah. I'll go this way. Can I knock on doors? Hello? Hello? No? Okay. Let's, uh, let's move forward, I suppose. Stoop sale. There's a unicycle. Still can't go indoors. Stoop sale. What the hell? It's true, I got a little sale going on here. It looks like you do. A xylophone? A hat from another time? An old camera? Eyeball of the space lion. What the shit is this? Um, nice sale you got, but I don't have any money. Can I search things for money? Like, is there money in there? No. What a bizarre world. July Avenue and Yam Street, isn't that where they were just talking about a moment ago? Oh my god. This place is large. And there's people just swimming in the canal. These canals are usually so trashy. Would not touch them. Okay, so where to first? There is a floating train car up ahead. I think we're probably meant to go in here first. I think this is Katano's place. Guitar lessons with Remy? Tell you for the 15th time, no. Forget it. Well, well, who is this? I am your new help. As you can see, we serve a variety of slices for all appetites and tastes. Great handshake, easy disposition, punctual, no known vices, curious, team player, even-handed, open-minded, baseline cooking ability. That seems awfully good. Okay, um... Interesting. Your hands are free. A letter of recommendation? Yep, yep, yep. There you go. To whom it may concern. Blah blah, con consummate professional, easy disposition, strong handshake, willing to work uh, late, whatever, whatever. This reads like any old boilerplate letter. Nice paper texture, though. That letter's bogus, fixer, or whatever your name is. What a you know what? Let your boss handle this, lady. So you finally gonna hire me, Katano? Fixer here is a big phony. Wait, you don't even work here? No, you, Fixer, you're perfect for everything. Yes, it's all crystal clear. Uh, to start, my supply of sauce needs to be refilled, and there's a jar of it in the basement. 
If you could bring up a jar of sauce from down there, that will be uh, that will get us started. In your face, lady. This could be me, Katano, hauling sauce jars, chopping onions. For all we know, Fixer's up to something. Why do you think I'm up to something? You want to be an assistant, Maxine? If Fixer needs any help, you'll provide it, right? Wow. She's my assistant? You'll be helping me by helping Fixer, Maxine. This work is better suited for someone with no personal ties to the neighborhood. You'll understand soon enough, Fixer. Um, this sounds shady, actually, now. Okay, so I've got a key. What's with his face? You haven't taken any photos. Oh, okay. I could, I could put photos up there or something? You know, I'm ready. I've watched you for years. Wow. And I just got the job by walking in here. A holding, pull down. Can I snoop? Alright. Saxophone's probably in there, right? The music was a little loud. Shape and flow. Jar of marinara sauce. Oh, oh! So that's the goal, eh? We have to get through there somehow? Okay. So I got the sauce, what do I do with it? Excellent work, Fixer! There's a lot of old memories for me down there. Go ahead and pour the sauce into the sauce vat by the pizza making station to my right. Um, that looks, that looks like a vat here. People say canned sauce is a cop-out, but really it's part of a broader pizza fundamental fixer. I don't like how he says my name all the time. It feels awkward. You see what I mean when you take the sauce out uh, from that briefcase of yours and pour it in. I feel like I'm supposed to pour it in here. Oh, I gotta do this. I have an inventory. There we go. Very good. Now your next step is to actually commit to making the pie itself. The order computer to my right will provide you with your first order. Click on your first order to make. All right. The dough on the counter is calling your name, Fixer. I don't like how you're leaving my personal info out on the counter, guy. For others to come in. Um, all right. So wait, what? The dough on the counter is calling your name? Is it really? I prepare it the old way. I cover it with a damp towel and leave it upstairs by the radiator overnight. It's taken me a long time to get the balance of flour, water, and yeast just so. Too long. And still, I'm unsatisfied. The ideal yield always oh, just out of reach. Okay. Roll some dough. Wow, I made a perfect circle. Lucas Belmont's order. Study the form, embrace the formation. Sprinkle ingredients till you're satisfied, then press and hold the green button for one second. All right. I feel like... Is this sauce or pepperoni? I guess it's sauce. But I can't, like, do it like a uniform <laughs> spread. This is funny. I mean, it's not too bad, is it? Is it? Alright, so it's not like the longer I hold it down, the more it spreads. It's just... It's just weird as all. I like how it's, like, making music. Mozzarella, basil, pepperoni, mushroom. All right. <laughs> this 
This is hilarious. All right, a little bit of basil. Pepperonis. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put anything on this willy nilly, or am I supposed to follow? Like, did he order specific things? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, good enough. It's dropping stuff. Also, there's live cows on that rock. <laughs> what even is this game? Okay. Just look at that pizza go fixer. Yeah? An impressive pie, I must say. You really went all in with the cheese. Good thing Luke is a cheese obsessive. I see you poured practically the entire sauce van on there, but Luke says he needs more tomatoes in his diet. Anyway, about this automation system. Oh! Uh, I had uh, the great Conrad Beelzebub install this himself. Worth every penny. Music's a little loud. You've got Luke Belmont's pizza. I believe it's time for your first delivery. 47 Yam Street, top floor. Oh, Professor Lucas Belmont, a real study. Wait, did I read that wrong? He prefers his pizza for breakfast, and it looks like you made him a proper breakfast pie. And considering you put a lot of mushroom on there, he's sure to tip you real good. If you're ever unsure where you're delivering the pizza to, the pizza box, it's, box itself will tell you. Just don't dawdle. Big day ahead. Oh, and try not to stay too long at the apartment. There are certain things Lucas probably doesn't want you to see. Good luck. Are you, are you serious right now? <laughs> what a weird game. Alright, 47 yam straight. So this is yam. And that's 30. So would 47 be on this side? Okay. You left those... Oh god, wait a minute, why is it going so fast? I'm trying to reuse all my plastic, Patrice. Nothing wrong with that. You got old plastic bags on the rack and tea leaves you've already steeped out in the hall. The tea leaves are for... Uh, for a collage, and what about your coffee grounds and the compost bin? I actually tossed out my leftovers, Benny. It's not like the city's got a composting program. What's really going on with you? It's our landlord. Who, Big Mo? He's always hands off with that stuff. He doesn't actually dispose of our trash, Benny. I mean, this town is pretty trashy. He puts it all in that truck and drives it back to the factory. I'm sure he has his reasons, Patrice. So why is this guy stealing everybody's trash? I don't know, Benny. Between him and everything else that's been going on... It's been four long years out, out here for me. Maybe I'm ready. Anywhere you go, you'll have to deal with Big Mo. His company owns all the buildings around here. There's a lot of buildings back there. I'm talking about a real move to a new neighborhood, a new city. But you'll miss out on Catano's pizza. It's true, every time I think about moving, the smell of that pizza joint. Is this pizza got something in it that's making everybody weird? I know what you mean, there's just something. Yeah, moving's a hassle. Let's get a pie later. Fresh mozzarella on the menu today. Hi. Hey, stranger. I saw you come up from that stoop sale down the street. Say anything good? Hey, for a second I thought you might have some news from our landlord. Ooh, Big Mo. He's the most hands-off landlord I've ever known. Oh, what about that leak in our kitchen? Or the centipede infestation? And the cat skeletons behind our fake wall? Wait, what? He did only raise our rent once. Ten bucks. Get what you pay for. 
think Big Mo's daughter will follow in his footsteps? Uh, she really uh, doesn't realize what she's inheriting. A lot more than just a row of walk-ups, eh? The developers are coming. We'll get an uh, evacuation notice like the one Chloe got. If that happens, I'll buy you a pizza at Katano's. My treat. But what about the noises I heard coming from the basement? Big Mo doesn't want us down there. End of story. What is going on in this place? And Chloe ain't sleeping on my couch. She won't have to. Plenty of vacancies in Building 9. Oh, that place. Well, if we get tossed, we might end up there too. I'd sooner sleep out in the van. Building 9 isn't for anyone. That wasn't yours, was it? <laughs> Why is there a giant basketball? I don't get it. I think this is my destination. Is it top floor? Um, a circuit board? Another circuit board? Uh, wait, what was it? Top floor. Don't know what that is. I'm not sure I want to know. There's another staircase up there. What is going on with that? Um, put away. I don't want to just walk in. Hello? I feel like I should have knocked. Why does everybody like, um, unicycles? Did I say tricycles earlier? Oh my god. Unicycles. That's not creepy. Um. Oh, that's really, really weird. Can I open his... What? Hold on. What is that? This place is weird. Oh, look at that! A lovely pizza box! At last, my morning meal. Let's see what's in this box, eh? Pizza for breakfast every day, Barkley. Oh my god. I can't zoom in, but that looks like... That looks like a mini him. On certain days, pizza needs... A sauce bath. Clearly, this one uh, is one of those days, Fixer. You understand. This is exactly the amount of pepperoni I was dreaming about before you showed up. Literally, this presentation was in my dream. A field clairvoyant fixer. I believe what we have here is a mushroom. This mushroom with a side of pizza. Quite expressive fixer. I don't feel like there's that many mushrooms on there. I should eat better anyways, right, Barkley? Sometimes you just need to pile on the cheese. It's a statement, Barkley. A statement of cheese's medicinal properties. Take just one bite, you'll see. Basil on pizza unifies the unruly competition of flavor under one banner. <laughs> the banner of a distinctive pizza maker. Like you, or Katano. I love it, Vixer. Your hard work, uh, for your hard work, I want to give you something. Not a bad pie, not a bad pie at all. And as for this pizza here? Your pizza, I want you to meet my mouth. What the? What the? <laughs> what is this game? Chef is missing? So many questions, so few answers. Perhaps a walk in the woods will settle things out between us. That was the last message left for him. Or was it? Oh my god. Disorders of a higher order. Can I, can I take these? Reset, put away, zoom. Oh, I can zoom. Okay. Put away. 
Um, I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> what is going on in this game? All right. I do like there's lots of things for me to interact with and open. A tin of chocolate. Put it on my pizza? There's another one of his hand forks thingies. I don't even want to know. I don't want to know. Do I get to like loot everybody's house to put shit on my pizza? Freedom in the cave! The Society of Cultural Analysis, Anton C. L and F. Everything's just music based here. What's going on? Lucas Belmont, 47 Yen Street, apartment 4. Bicycle or skateboard failed to stop at a red light. He got a ticket for a skateboard going through a red light. Or maybe it was a unicycle. My Salad Forever, Waning Wonders, Bees, Volume 63. The color, he... I know, I noticed that this is becoming a popular thing um, with books. People sorting them on shelves in an aesthetic way instead of any kind of other order, like alphabetical or, or whatnot. Um, that's really weird to me, but... Whatever, who am I to judge? Okay, that's locked. I wonder if I can get in there someday. So, this guy's got one of them eyeball... Wait a minute, is that eyeball following me? No. So, everyone has an instrument. What, what the hell are you taking a bath in? Moose? Blue moose? Oh my god. I don't know what the hell this place is, but it's really bizarre. Here's that stairwell that I was talking about that I... Oh! What is this? Apotheosis film. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played such a bizarre game. Oh. Apparently I just fell on a slide. <laughs> I can't move my camera either. It's fixed. Is this a fire escape? If so, why is he the only one who has a fire escape? Oh. Oh. I hear people. Hello? 